Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Because someone has been telling me I need to hurry up and make a space station and launch it, and sorry I can't remember your name because I'm bad. Anyhow, here it is. The beautiful launch. I forgot to turn on the SAS. Yeah. That's a bad thing. Nope. Stop. Why are you lagging? It's a very bad thing. You just saw the abort sequence, and you can also see the station is capable of returning to the atmosphere. Um, yeah, it actually is. Let's try that again. Hello, here we are again, this time with SAS. It's also got a bit of a wobble to it, unfortunately, but that's just the way things are. Also, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this design has to make use of the fuel glitch in order to get into orbit. I don't know. I'm going to try and get it into orbit without using the fuel glitch this time. I got one of these into orbit earlier, um, but I know I used the fuel glitch to do it because I had to turn my throttle down. So, here's hoping we don't have to do that this time. We're slowing down. Why are we slowing down? Stop slowing down. La la la. Yeah, I know. I use the same exact launch configuration every time, with a few minor variations in the stacks up here. But I always use the same bottom configuration. If you hadn't noticed that already, that is, uh, I, ever since point sixteen came out, every rocket I've launched uses the same bottom design. I have a couple that I were, was testing with um, that aren't the same, but you haven't seen those, so I'm going to assume the way you get up with this one is similar to other ones. Um, I'm going to just pretty much go straight up until I hit 500 meters per second, and then I'm going to pitch over, um, which is what I usually do. Oh wow. Although this one, there's not that much fuel in the stacks. I'm going to start pitching over now. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, no, 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 no. There, no, there. Whatever. This will have to do. We're about to run out of fuel. Yeah, we are about to run out of fuel in those stacks. No, I'm going to try and do this without the fuel glitch. And if it doesn't work, oh well. I'm sorry, uh, person who wanted a station. Oh, jeez. I'm not going up that much anymore. I am speeding up quite a bit though right now still. Let's see, the speeds I'm going at, I could still make it up. I could actually still make it up with this. Most likely. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It is steadily rising and it is I think it's getting further away from me. I can't actually tell, but well it's staying at fifty two seconds. So at least I'm not getting closer. But yeah, so as you can see, the way the station is designed, it has RCS, um, a bunch of RCS tanks, and it has these. Yeah, as soon as that gets above 70, we're cutting engines, if it'll even get above 70. Ah, no, stop. Don't go down. Don't aim down. Don't ever aim down. I'm about to run out of fuel on this stage. Um, but I have this one, so we're all good. 
Huh. I'm about to get into an extremely low orbit. It looks like, almost. I mean, geez. Wow. Wait, this thing works. This thing works perfect. This thing actually works perfect. I have to use the tanks on the thing to get it out of the atmosphere, but it works. Hmm. We're, we're low enough to where we're slowing down, though, so... Um, I mean, directly from the atmosphere slowing down. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that the directions for flying this thing, you should get your apoapsis up to above 75 before cutting power. That way it'll stay above 75. That way it'll stay above 70 once you get there. Um, well, this is a slow boring part now because it has to slowly rise up. Might as well, while we're up here waiting for to get into orbit, might as well, just in case we don't make it, might as well go ahead and make this into the, uh, what do you call it, the station it is supposed to be by uh, extending these, because, yeah, it has these ladders as, like, you know, part of the design. I like this station. Um, never made us like a proper looking like proper station in KSP until now and I like this yep that's pretty cool I also like how I made a design that's strange with this because you know most of the time you have things you most of the time have boosters directly under your tank and this is the first thing I've designed that doesn't have boosters under the tank. And we're not falling anymore, or at least not that much. So we'll definitely get out into, out of the atmosphere, and then we'll just boost again to get the paraapsis out of the atmosphere. Also, you might have noticed there's two fuel tanks, and it looks like there's only one, or a bunch right here. These are actually all empty fuselage pieces. That's a fuel tank. There's one fuel tank there, and there's one right there you can just barely see a little bit of it um, under directly under the capsule which is what everything is attached to and that's the fuel tank that's being used right now of course but um yeah we're actually gonna get into orbit with this and then what's also cool is you can turn on RCS and then use RCS as a booster um, or you know just to turn generally either way so it's pretty cool um, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the RCS on for now. Um, still gotta wait a little bit before we get there, but I guess I can show you how well it moves with the RCS on. I'm gonna turn that off though. Oh, come on, hurry up. You're going so fast, but you're going so slow. Oh, 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 so close, so close. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the atmosphere so I can speed up time. And there we go. And now 50x and 10x and 5x and 1x. And we're going to turn this way. And it actually turns really well even without um, RCS being used. But anyhow, we're just going to bring this up to 70. And we are now in orbit. It's not circularized, but I don't care. We're in orbit. There we go. So you can now see I have made a station. Um, right now, I'm currently working on replacing the thread I had in the KSP forum and basically I'm just gonna replace it with a new one that's like better because uh, when they updated the way their system works it broke my old thread so um, I've been lazy and haven't done it yet but I'm about to do that right now I was working on that but then I decided you know if I update that and I don't post this that one person who's already mad at me already for not doing this is gonna get even more mad so it's your fault you did this to me and you should be proud Okay, thanks for watching, etc, etc, uh, goodbye. Also, you might have noticed I kind of restarted the game uh, because I had debris everywhere. And speaking of, I have debris in orbit, except technically it shouldn't be in orbit because it's, it enters the atmosphere. So.
technically it should fall out, but it isn't. This is also my new rover, which um, I blew up one. Uh, so there it is. The debris just disappeared. Oh, it's back now. Huh, I zoomed in too much and it vanished. Debris does do that. Like, watch. Let me see if I make this one do it. This one probably won't do it because I'm focused on that. Oh, well. Goodbye.